Hello everyone, Anthony Fasano, your engineering career coach, engineeringcareercoach.com, where you can find all of my podcast sessions. On my podcast, I actually help real live engineers overcome challenges and achieve their goals, so check it out. I'm also the founder of the Institute for Engineering Career Development, a mastermind community for motivated engineers, which you can learn more about at engineeringcareerdevelopment.com. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about mentoring. Finding a mentor in your engineering career is probably one of the most important things you can do. Why would you want to navigate your career on your own when there's experienced people out there that can help you do it, that have already done it? So many engineers don't find a mentor. You have to find a mentor. And that's why in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you a clip from my Engineer Your Own Success webinar where I talk about mentoring. I explain to you how a mentoring relationship works. I define a mentor and tell you how and where you can find one. So please, take the time to listen to the next few minutes and think about how you can find a mentor in your career that will literally change your engineering career and put it on the fast track to succeed. What is a mentor? I like to think of a mentor as someone who guides you towards achieving your career goals. Think about it this way. We spent some time talking about how important it is to set your goals. Now it's time to find someone who can help you achieve them. And I like to think that we do a good job of this at the Institute for Engineering Career Development. We help, we help engineers succeed in this way, but there's nothing that can really replace a one-on-one -on -one mentor who's someone who's in your field, in your industry. And that brings us to finding a mentor. How do you find a mentor? There's a couple different things you can do. First of all, you can look to your own engineering company if you're employed. Go to the Human Resources Department and ask them if they have a formal mentoring program. You'll be surprised at how many companies do have one. Therefore, they'll set you up with someone in the company and, you'll, and they'll, they'll mentor you. If your company does not have one, check with your local professional societies. A lot of the engineering societies out there do have mentoring programs as well. Well, they'll, well, they'll put a couple of members together as a mentor-protege relationship. Lastly, take a look at some on online websites like LinkedIn. You may be able to find a big engineering group and you can put yourself out there as someone looking for a mentor. It can certainly be very helpful. How does the mentoring relationship work? Typically, the way I've seen it is usually a mentor and a protege will meet once a month, and very often it's by phone, unless they're very local or within the same company. And basically, you ask the mentor questions that you have or challenges that you want to overcome. You have them help you. That, that's how the mentoring relationship works. The, the, the real important thing about the mentoring relationship is, is a couple things. First of all, consistency. You have to meet on a regular basis. If you don't, nothing will happen. All right, that's, that's very important. The next thing is the idea of confidentiality. You have to have a mentor. You have to feel that your mentor and relationships and conversations are confidential or else you won't be able to necessarily open up on all of your challenges and the, and the things you are facing in your engineering career. And that's why sometimes it's actually better to have a mentor outside of your company rather than someone in your company. So keep that in mind. Also, a mentor should provide you with accountability. That's one big thing you should take out of the mentoring relationship. It's one thing to tell somebody that you're going to do something or to say you're going to do something, but to have someone who's there on a regular basis to say to you, what have you accomplished on that? That's a whole different ballgame. And that's why mentoring or coaching can be so critical in your career. How do you get the most from your mentor? Well, one way to get the most from your mentor is to select the right mentor. Who makes the best mentor for you? Think about it. Somebody who's achieved the goals that you want to achieve. If you're a transportation engineer and you want to work on major highways, find a transportation engineer who's successful, has five to ten years more experience than you, who's working on major highways. That's your mentor. Don't find a geotechnical engineer that's working on soil borings. 
while they both might fall into the civil engineering classification, obviously one will be much better for you as a mentor than the other. And that's why it's worth taking a lot of time just to find the right mentor. Also, just ensure that you're prepared for the sessions. Come to the sessions with questions. Keep questions throughout the month on a piece of paper or a pad that you can ask the mentor. And the last point I want to discuss on mentoring is, is the idea of becoming a mentor. It's important to, I believe, to give back and try to mentor yourself throughout your engineering career because you do grow through mentoring. And not only is it a very rewarding experience, but it can help you to develop your communication skills and your overall confidence. And that would be a big boost for you as well as your protege.